right now here we have a little boxing drill for you and all your students to work on. So we're going to work this off the jab cross. Now you're going to parry the jab, parry the cross, drop down, throw a left cross of your own into the midsection, and finish with a low hook and high hook combination. Now you could use a bob and weave here off of his cross if you wanted to. Now as you drop down, be sure to get that left cross into the midsection. A lot of guys forget this. But you want to try to get in as many shots as you can. Now you can do this drill for a set number of times, say 20, 30 times. But an easier way is to just set a timer for 3 or 4 minutes. That way, you're not worrying about counting, you're just concentrating on the drill. Now we're going to continue with this same drill and add the overhand right. This will give us practice with our cover. As you can see, this is a natural progression. Because as my partner throws the jab cross and sees me dropping down, his natural reaction would be an overhand right to the head. This also helps teach you to keep your guard up at all times. A lot of us get careless, especially when we're attacking. Now, doing the drill this way makes it even more interactive because you're going to go back and forth with your partner. Now, it's a good idea for both of you to be wearing gloves of some type. I think you'll find that boxing gloves come in very handy in drills like this because you're able to make good contact without worrying about hurting your hands. And you want to make contact with these drills. You want your partner and yourself to get used to being hit. Now as you can see, it's the same drill, but this time instead of hitting the pads, my partner is covering and you're hitting his arms. Now as you can see, we're alternating each time. I attack, then he attacks. Also, make sure that you pause in between. You don't want a constant barrage of punches. Now we can do the same thing with this drill, adding the overhand. Nothing changes. Just want to make sure that you get that left arm up to cover the head. If he doesn't get the arm up, then tap him in the head. That way he'll learn. Another thing that you want to do with these drills is move around a little bit more. Use your footwork which we're going to show you at the end of this clip. Alright, now here I want to touch on a few of the common mistakes that people make. If you see here, it's parry, parry, punch. One, two, three. Oh, well, this is wrong. It's not three beats. It should be one, two. Parry. The parry and punch should be at the same time or at the very most two and a half beats. When you parry that second punch, your punch should already be into the ribs. As you can see, if you hit him off of that second parry, it doesn't give him time to recover. Also note how you need to step out using your angular footwork. The next thing I see people do a lot is cover and wait for that overhand. You don't want to do this. You have to pretend that you don't know that that overhand is coming. If he throws it, fine. If he doesn't, then you just continue with your double hooks. See here? He's too slow. I cover myself anyway, but I just continue on with my hooks. I don't wait for him. That'll slow you down. You don't want to get into the habit of waiting for your partner to attack. Once you start attacking, you continue with your attack until it's finished. Okay, here we've zoomed out a little bit so we can show the drill a little more realistically. You want to pause in between and you want to move around. You don't want to just stand stationary when you're doing this drill. Make it more realistic. 